Dear students, now we are going to discuss material dispersion in detail. Let's start with the basics of dispersion. Dispersion is nothing but the spreading of light pulse as it propagates through the fiber. When the light signal is propagating through the fiber, there may be a spreading of light pulse in the fiber. It limits the information carrying capacity of the fiber. Okay? There are different types of dispersion available. Intramodal dispersion, intermodal dispersion. This intramodal dispersion is further classified into three types. Material dispersion, waveguide dispersion, group velocity dispersion. Okay? So, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss material dispersion in detail. Okay? Material dispersion occurs due to the variation of refractive index of the core material. Okay, due to the refraction index variation in the core material, there may be a pulse spreading effect as a function of wavelength. It is also called as chromatic dispersion. Here the pulse spreading occurs when the different wavelengths follow the same path. That is the concept of material dispersion. So, when the different wavelengths follow the same path, then pulse spreading occurs in this material. Do you all understand this concept? Next, we are going to analyze the material dispersion. Material dispersion occurs when the variation of refractive index as a function of wavelength. Correct? So, here the material dispersion causes a wavelength dependence of the group velocity. So, for that we can relate the propagation constant with the group velocity. Here we can consider the propagation constant beta that is equal to 2 pi by lambda. That is the general equation. Here we have to consider the refractive index of the core material. So, beta is equal to n into 2 pi by lambda. Okay, here n is nothing but refractive index. This n is nothing but n1. That means the refractive index of the core material. Okay, lambda is equal to c by f. We can substitute this value here. Then beta is equal to n into 2 pi by c by f. Then we can move this f to the numerator. We can get n into 2 pi f by c. Here 2 pi f is nothing but omega. So, here beta is equal to what? N into omega by C. This can also be written like this N1 omega by C. C is nothing but the velocity of light. Okay. So, next the group velocity of the fiber can be obtained using this formula dou G. That is group velocity is equal to the differentiation of propagation constant with respect to omega. So, we are going to differentiate this beta with respect to what? Omega. Then we can get the group velocity is equal to 1 by C into N1 minus lambda dN1 by d lambda. Consider this as the first equation. Okay. So next we are going to find out the group delay due to material dispersion. This group delay can be obtained by multiplying the fiber length with this group velocity. So here dou M that is the group delay due to the material dispersion. That is equal to L into dou G value is what? 1 by C into N1 minus lambda D N1 by D lambda. Consider this is the second equation. This is very important one. Next, the RMS pulse spreading due to material dispersion can be obtained using spectral wavelength sigma lambda and group delay. It is denoted as sigma M. From this we can find out the material dispersion factor. Okay, so here sigma m is equal to sigma suffix lambda and the wavelength of the fiber. Here the differentiation of the group delay with respect to lambda. Consider this as the third equation. Next we are going to find out this value from the second equation. So from second equation d dou m by d lambda is equal to l by c d n1 by d lambda minus d squared n1 by d lambda squared minus d n1 by d lambda. Then we can cancel these two values. We can get the answer as minus l by c into d squared n1 by d lambda squared. Consider this as the fourth equation. We are going to substitute this fourth equation in this third equation. 
to get the RMS per spreading value. Okay. So sigma m is equal to sigma lambda into minus l into lambda by c d squared n1 by d lambda squared. Then we can take this l by c outside and consider the magnitude of this value. So here sigma m that is RMS per spreading value is equal to sigma lambda l by c into lambda d squared n1 by d lambda squared. It can be written like this. Sigma m is equal to sigma lambda L into dm into lambda. That is the material dispersion value is equal to 1 by c. So here this value is nothing but what? 1 by c into lambda d squared n1 by d lambda squared. This can also be denoted as capital M. That is material dispersion factor. Do you all understand this one? From this equation, we come to know that the material dispersion can be reduced either by reducing the spectral width or increasing the wavelength. Okay. Next we are going to relate the refractive index of the core material and the material dispersion with respect to optical wavelength. Here the wavelength increases then the refractive index is getting reduced gradually. This is dispersion versus wavelength of the fiber cable, okay. So next material dispersion factor is a function of optical wavelength. It is given as m is equal to lambda by c into d squared n1 by d lambda squared. So this can be expressed as picosecond per nanometer into kilometer, okay.